two weeks from today will mark the anniversary of the famed Ollie Liston title match that took place in Lewiston. Now fast forward 51 years and there's a new generation of boxers trying to rise to the top themselves. And one of them is just getting started. In this small gym on the mid coast of Maine, the constant thud of glove meeting bag echoes off the walls. But the rugged sound provides a stark contrast to the voice behind the punch. I like the aggression. Ashton Wells is a 14-year-old freshman at Searsport High School and a four-sport varsity athlete. But her central focus lies off of the field and in the ring, where competition between siblings led her to the sport she loves most of all. My brother started doing it uh, when he was younger as well, but him and I were always very competitive. I always wanted to beat him everything, so of course he did something new, so I had to do something new. She's very athletic. Of course, she plays several sports, and thankfully, you know, she's hooked on to boxing. After losing her amateur debut, Ashton has now won five straight bouts, a streak that almost didn't happen. I had took some time off when my brother went to Afghanistan because it was really hard for me to come back here because it was like a me and him thing. But my brother really wanted me to just stick with boxing. That's all he wants me to do. So when I have an eight count and I go to like the neutral corner, I can I always like look up to wherever they are and I can hear my brother screaming. My dad is screaming. Ashton says that in this gym, being a girl has no bearing on how other boxers treat her. In fact, the biggest hurdle to overcome is simply finding someone to occupy the other corner. It's really hard, like when you're all prepared, you're running, you're training, you've been training for months, you've been doing like everything perfectly, and you know when you're in the best condition you can be, and you get a phone call, and your fighter just pulled out. It's irritating, but it happens. And while some may think of Wells as a surprising profile to thrive in the ring, that sort of thinking is best left at the door to Skeet Wyman, who fits another profile of his own. I, I boxed from 76 till 83 when I had a hunting accident and that put me out of boxing. Now, Wyman devotes his time not only to leading boxers to their goals, but teaching them the work ethic and state of mind that will lend itself to success in life. If someone's willing to come and, you know, put the time in and dedicate themselves, we can give them what they need to, to get the job done. Anybody can do what they want to do. But for now, Ashton's list of desires contains only one goal. I'm working for a title. It takes time, but definitely she, she's got what it takes. In boxing, it's always like everything you got, you got to work for it. It's stressful, but it's relaxing at the same time, knowing that it's just you and one other fighter in the ring. And when the bell goes off, that's all that matters. Well, Ashton doesn't have her next bout lined up just yet, but with how difficult it is to find opponents, she said she's always ready to jump at the next opportunity.